Konata, can mm? I borrow your computer for a second? I just remembered about this committee meeting that's coming up, and I need to write something for it. Yeah, sure. Okay. I have been feeling a little out of whack lately. But I think I'll be ready on time. I'd like to get a bigger head start, but I don't want to rush it because I want to make sure everybody is feeling comfortable with it. And I'd like it if we could work out all the details of the assignment. Yeah, so are you gonna tell me what's going on with your computer or what? <laughs> ah, maybe other people's computers are just too hard for you to deal with, Kagami. Whoa! I didn't check my email for a couple of days, and now my inbox is mega's full! You get email? I never pictured you as being all that popular. Okay. It's called your inner voice for a reason. You gotta keep it inside. A good 90% of my emails are fish or spam. I bet it's because of all the sketchy sites I visit. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't admit that to a cop. In fact, I'm positive. Isn't it amazing how these guys always come up with the funniest things to put in the subject line? I mean, some of this stuff's hilarious. Yeah, I know. Wow, it's copying pretty fast. Looks like it'll be done before I know it. Mm. Ah! How can anyone rely on what the timer says when it goes up and down like that? Jeez. Late night snacking calls for a bowl of instant ramen, baby. How could you tease me like that? Hey there! Ooh, thanks. Is it true that Konata and Yutaka both caught a cold? Uh-oh. Hey, Yutaka. How are you doing? I haven't had a cold in a while. <laughs> hey, Konata! How you feeling? What's up, Nissan? How's it going? Uh-huh. Funny how you don't have the energy to go to school, but you've got enough to play your games. Uh, yeah. Well, you see, uh, you know how it is, don't you? Hello! Wow! Thanks for coming by to visit, Minami. And thanks for bringing your friends along, too. That darn cold really nailed her, but I gotta say that I've never seen her as healthy as she's been lately. Thanks a lot for being there for her, Minami-chan. Oh, it's okay, really. Back in junior high, Yutaka had maybe one or two good friends. So I guess you must be really special to her. She just can't stop talking about you, Minami-chan. And I've never seen her have this much fun at school before, either. You know how when you're sick, people say it's all in your head? Well, when you're busy having fun, you don't have time to think about being sick. Hello. Wow, thanks for coming by to visit, Minami. And thanks for bringing your friends along, too. That darn cold really nailed her, but I gotta say that I've never seen her as healthy as she's been lately. Thanks a lot for being there for her, Minami-chan. Oh, it's okay, really. Back in junior high, Yutaka had maybe one or two good friends. So I guess you must be really special to her. She just can't stop talking about you, Minami-chan. And I've never seen her have this much fun at school before, either. Uh, Minami-chan, Tamara-san, Patty-chan, please come in. How are you feeling? Promise me you'll get well soon, okay? Uh-huh. I just wish I wasn't all weak and frail, because I hate being sick. 
I feel bad for making everyone worry. No way! Being weak and frail like that's a great way to get people to make a fuss over you. Yeah, well, it might look like fun to someone who isn't weak and frail, but if you're weak and frail, it probably sucks. Hmm. I guess that's like saying how if you've got a little sister in real life, you probably won't think little sisters are Moa. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right! right! Whoa! Watch out! The normal people are attacking us with weird looks! I'm being blinded by their aura of confusion! We can't help that we're different! We're outlaws in an ordinary world! Speaking of things we wish were different about ourselves, Minami-chan wishes she had bigger boobs. <gasps> wow, is that for real? No, it's not like that. I heard that if you massage your boobs, they get bigger. Yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay, Minami-chan? Yes, I'm positive. You're the only person I could ever ask you, Taka. Okay, here goes. No! Oh. Oh, easy girl, get a hold of yourself! Wow, that's cool, Tamura-san. I didn't know you were from that circle. Yeah, and I had stuff at last summer's comic -Head. I bought a couple of your books. They're good. Uh, thanks a lot. That's so cool. I'd love to read some of the manga you've drawn, Tamura-san. Will you let me borrow yours? Sure, I'll go get it. <clears throat> hmm? Please, you don't want to do that. Come on, Hearing. Don't you want everyone to experience the doujin you work so hard on? You don't understand. That stuff's not for the general market. Have mercy, oh, Hearing. Just give it up already. Isn't that amazing? Now let's review. Chewing gum containing xylitol has been proven to destroy the germs that cause cavities. Because when the xylitol is absorbed by the germs that cause cavities, it depletes the ATP in the bacteria and also it dissolves the cavity itself and... If it's really that good for my teeth, I should try it. chewing the gum because it was good for my teeth, but it made me lose a filling, so I had to go to the dentist. A pitiful and unlucky Miyuki-san okay. is Moe. So that's what poor sweet Miyuki-san was crying about today. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, um, okay. That's what Onei-chan said happened to her. That's why Miyuki-san seems so gloomy. Um, I'm really sorry about what happened to Miyuki-san, but that's great material! This sucks. It's been forever since I've had a good idea. How do you come up with ideas for manga anyway? Hmm. I don't have any surefire method or anything, but I usually get ideas from real life and stuff. <gasps> from real life, huh? You read uh, them, didn't you? Well, uh, that depends. I... Admit it, you did! Well, I... She showed you even after all that begging. I'm, I'm sorry. Those stories weren't from real life. Uh, anyway, I thought the stories were good and really fun to read. Great, thanks a lot. And there were a few that felt like they happened to me. I got a feeling of deja vu while reading them. I'd like to read some of her stories, too. I bet those stories were based on you guys! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Hmm? Oh, hey, how's it going, ma'am? Good morning. Up all night playing games again? Or maybe you did some late-night anime watching? You know it. And these days, there's tons more anime series on late at night. Yeah, that rules. Okay, you could at least lie and tell me you were studying. I've been seriously thinking about splurging on a DVD recorder or something. That might help. <laughs> Save your money. Why bother? You'll record the shows and never get around to them. Kind of like how your games pile up. Huh? What are you talking about? Whoa, hang on a second. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, right. You wish. Listen, I don't have anything to do with any of it. Uh, mm. Hey, it's me. Did you just hang up on me? I guess we got disconnected. Yeah, I had three bars. Anyway, I was acting immature a minute ago. Sorry. No, I didn't hang up on you. That's not why. I can't believe I'm back for another visit. Let's have ourselves a peek inside, shall we? Not to worry. We just need to pop the filling back in and you'll be as right as rain. Now, about that tooth in the back. I believe I've detected some decay. We should start treatment immediately. Lucky star! Oh! 
smells strong. Oh, nothing, sis. I just kind of realized how much strawberries smell like shortcakes is all. <laughs> I get it. You meant to say that shortcakes smell like strawberries, right? You know, because they have strawberries inside them. Huh? I guess. Oh, it's okay. It's not like getting confused like that's a bad thing. Good morning, everybody. I hope you slept well. Hey, you chan Good, Good morning. morning. Here's today's booth. Wow, look at all the animals. They're doing some kind of special about pets. First, I'd like to introduce you to a Welsh corgi named Koo. Wow, it's a corgi. He's super cute. I don't know about the dog, but the owner's pretty darn cute. And her thigh-high socks get extra points. There's just enough skin showing between them and her skirt. She'd look awesome in a gothic maid ensemble. Next, we have Sylviana, a Siberian husky. Look, a husky. I like huskies a lot. I wonder why you don't see them that much now. Whoa, soon to that. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, fantastic. Anybody who likes to walk around with their hair and ponytails is definitely soon to that. Wow, I didn't know you were into playing games and stuff. Yeah, but I suck big time at them. You want to play or something? <laughs> Woohoo! You're awesome, kitty <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Watching her have so much fun makes me feel like a loser. But all I care about is winning. That's a ton of stinky. Can something stinky be more? Oh, hey there, patricia son. How's it going? We're seeing you a lot on this side of the school these days. Well, Patty's really enthusiastic about learning. In fact, you could say I've taken her under my wing. I'm teaching her everything she needs to know about the essence of Japanese culture. Yeah, whatever. If you're teaching her, she's only going to be learning about a subculture, if anything. But otaku are the pride of Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. I'm on a mission to absorb everything mm -hmm. I can here. Take it all back to America and distribute it to mm -hmm. the faithful. You're right about one. One thing, she is enthusiastic. Anyway, what about music, Patricia San? Do you have any favorite bands that you like? Hmm, let me see. There's Orange Rain, Chemistry, Snail Head, Pornography, Lyrica Scene, Nightmare, and a bunch of others. I listen to all kinds of different Japanese bands. Wow, you sure do. That's impressive, but all the bands you just named sing anime songs. Good one, Konato. You're oh. so sharp. And you're only listening to the songs they did for anime, right? Ah, you know, I really need to get myself a maid. Huh? It'd be nice to get a maid. Yeah, I guess that would be nice. I heard you don't live in a dorm, but that you have a place all to yourself. Yep, and the cooking, laundry, manga, and anime keep me busy. I bet it's hard, especially if you're not used to it. No wonder you want to get yourself a housekeeper. Oh, no, I don't want to get a housekeeper. I want to get a maid. Uh, I didn't even know there was a difference. What? They're kidding, right? They're totally different. Hasn't this country taught you anything? Actually, I think you might be getting the wrong idea about Japan. No, I'm sorry, girl, I can't. Fried food's a no-no. She knows you'll give in, Minami. That's why she isn't going away. I'll take care of her, hun. Come on, I've got something for you. <sighs> Slow down, girl. But now I feel so lonely. Everybody in our class thinks she's too quiet and really scary, but the truth is that she's super kind, totally awesome, and really cool. You know her. She's the one staying over at Izumi-san's house. She just admires her so much. Oh, who does she now? Minami-chan, uh, would you take this? Uh, I have to agree, she uh, is rather awesome and cool, uh, isn't she? Yes, why even Izumi-san thinks so. Minami-chan always gives off this cool-headed Little Miss Perfect vibe. But when she's with you-chan, you can tell that she's really a good human being. And that's what she said about her. Oh, I'm sorry. Because it's on sale, we have to limit it to only one per customer. Oh, oh my. She's cool-headed and a little Miss Perfect. <laughs> and here's what Kagami-san and Tsukasa-san have to say about her. Minami-chan seems like the type who does everything quickly, efficiently, and perfectly. I think Minami-chan's awesome because she seems like she can do anything. I wish I could be like her. Kagami-san and Tsukasa-san speak so highly of Minami-chan. I think it's wonderful that everyone admires her. Yeah, but Mom, I can't because it's limited to one per customer. Huh? Oh, mm-hmm. Perfect. 
tree. <laughs> hey, you girl. Hey, what's up? What you watching there? It's just some mecha anime series I rented. <laughs> this looks really cool. Uh, you sure are into this stuff, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm not really that much into mecha or anything. What? What do you mean you're not into mecha? Why the heck are you watching the show, then? In order to attract a broader audience, the creators of these mecha series are tossing in a lot more cute boy and girl characters. Pretty clever, huh? What's the point in calling a mecha anymore? Got that, Hideki? I'm counting on you for real, so promise me! I want to hear you say it! Go on, say it! Yeah, sure, relax. I'll take care of it. Come on, Misa-chan, you heard her. She said she'd take care of it. Huh? I wouldn't bother her too much if I were you. If there's one thing I've learned about people, it's this. Whenever somebody <laughs> says, sure, I'll take care of it, chances are they're not going to take care of nothing. She picks the weirdest things to be right about. Hagami Sama! <laughs> do you want to go with me to gamers today? I got stuff to do today. And besides, there isn't anything I want to buy. Oh, come on, man. It's not going to take that long, I promise. No, thanks. Yes, thanks. Leave him alone. Why do you always go to gamers anyway? Isn't there a bookstore by your house you can go to? Hmm. Once you've been inside a specialty store like Gamers, ordinary bookstores don't seem like they got you covered. I mean, good luck finding all the things you're looking for. It's probably because all the things you're looking for are too weird. Okay, what are you gonna get? Just this. I'm good to go. You're watching that one too? Oh no, I haven't seen the anime. But when I saw the cover, I couldn't help but think that I needed to get it, like we were somehow connected. I couldn't fight this feeling no matter how hard I tried. You're talking crazy. I finally figured out the philosophy behind the reason why people buy stuff based on the cover art. For example, you pick the light novels you read based on the art, right? Yeah, you're right. You got me there. So when you buy a book on a whim and it turns out to be good, you think you totally scored. And even if it turns out that the book you bought sucks, you don't care because you bought it on a whim. Either way, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. That's a good way of putting it, and I totally see where you're coming from, but I don't buy it. Huh? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, huh? That was a big one. You might want to cover your mouth next time. Well, you know, it's not like you can control your sneezes. I've never actually seen anyone go achoo when they sneezed. That was hilarious. Achoo. Even with a sneeze, the difference between us is huge. It's not fair! You're so darn cute, it's totally unfair! Whoa, down, girl. So, if you go all the way around, it doesn't stink so bad. Is it true they stopped doing it? You know, you guys get along great. Hmm? Do you guys ever argue or anything? All the time. She looks all sweet and mellow, but if you piss her off, she'll cut you, man. <laughs> yeah, I guess there are some people out there who are like that. Oh, come on, leave me alone. That reminds me. Even when you're not mad, you're scary. Darn it, I should have known I was getting set up for something like that. We just found out that Minami-chan got the same time as you in the 100-meter dash. Oh, yeah? That's awesome. Although, if we ever had a race, I'd totally beat her because of my boobs. You want to uh. try it? Well, yeah, but she could still win because of her height, right? Can't she? Wow, she totally ignored me, didn't she? Hey, don't you think so, too, Hideki? Mm. Isn't that the funniest thing ever, Hideki? Hmm. Know what I'm talking about, Hideki? Mm. Misa-chan's attitude is answer me when I'm speaking to you. And Hideki-chan's is don't bother me, I'm reading. Things are starting to get pretty tense around here. I think it's so awesome how the characters in anime and games have all this moe built into them. Yeah, I know. Hey, hmm? is that right or is the image corrupted? Nah, it's supposed to look all blurry and pixelated like that. Oh, I kind of like how it's blurry and pixelated. Ah ah <laughs> so, what kind of game are you underage high school chicks playing, huh? <laughs> What's everybody doing? <laughs> That's all she wrote. It's been forever since I updated the blog with a big old entry. I just gotta publish it and... No! No! Back, back! Go back! Lucky Star. <sighs> okay. I ain't your mom, so I'm not gonna waste my breath giving you jerks a scolding today. Gloomy. <sighs> and I don't even care about how we all ended up here. You guys still with me? Fantastic. Anyway, I heard you losers built this show up from nothing, yeah? So now that you made it to the last couple of episodes, you geniuses think you're gonna bust the place down? Unhappy. <sighs> 
People say I'm a mean bastard, and you know, I've done things that'd make your hair turn white. But this is the first time I've been called in to stop a boring ass argument! You wait? Good boy. If we don't get this thing resolved right freaking now, it's gonna make me look bad. And we don't want that, do we, Shira? No, we don't huh? go to the summer. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> You're awfully quiet. I'm so very sorry. Huh? I'm so very sorry, Gotuza Sama. <sighs> All right, you guys, how's about we wrap this thing up for today? Okay? Come here, you freak. You got one more episode of Lucky Channel, so go out and make it awesome. Okay? We good now? Yes, ma'am. I can't good. hear you! Yes, yes ma'am, we're good! And now that we got that settled, ball's in your court now. Don't screw it up. Keep your noses clean, and maybe you guys will get somewhere in this industry. Well, I guess I'm gonna be heading out now. I'll let the producer know about our little talk and about how good you were. Give me a shout if you guys need anything, and I'll send a couple of my boys down to give y'all a hand. On the next episode of Lucky Star. Come on, everybody! There's only one more episode, so let's do this right! Hello? You guys listening? Fine, whatever. I'll just do it by myself. Next time, to be decided! No way! They haven't decided?